something that I definitely want to discuss with Nato and it's Nato's um something a concept that he's been uh working on and I recently saw like a month ago from an Instagram post and that's make hip hop healthy. So um I'll go ahead and turn on the the mic over to Nato so he can go ahead and explain and go into depth with it. Um make hip hop healthy it's um I'm I'm a personal trainer so I work with a lot of individuals um, and it's more than just like the health aspect of it all. It's more the mental wellness of it. And I love music and I think hip hop, well, most Def said it, um, wherever the people go, hip hop will go. I think what mainstream media is doing, and it's going to connect with your top, where we're going to talk about your topic about the energy, it's giving off, uh, I think we're listening to toxicity in where we don't even, we're not, a lot of people are not even aware of it, of what we're consuming, digesting. Mm -hmm. And it's what also as us, as the artist, us as the being, us as a consumer, us as a listener, I think we need to make a more conscious effort of realizing what we are listening to. I mean, I know of us here, I know we're, we're, I think we're not, we're, we're a part of it and we're not a part of it. We're the awareness of it all, but at the same time, we can't control it all because we're just, we're one, we're one people together yeah. coming to create four people but i think hip-hop healthy it's much more than just like it's like what are you eating like i have a client of mine who wants to lose 20 pounds you're not gonna do it by eating mcdonald's you're eating listening same thing with music it's you want to achieve something of a lifestyle if you keep listening to music that's talking about how future talks about the music he talks about i'm neglecting women disrespecting this disrespecting that Drug abuse, this abuse, that abuse. We're creating like a mental, I think, zombie apocalypse on a controlled mind state of just legit zombies. And I think it's mm. it's bad because you see it in the next generation. Um, we're on a lot of kids and it's crazy because they know how to work a damn iPhone and they don't need their parents. And then you don't know what they're watching or listening to. Automatically, already they're being programmed or being, in, whether, whether we say program or being influenced, they're still being influenced by whatever they're watching. So whether that's mm -hmm. music, you got to 6 9 talking about this, this, and that. Then unfortunately, rest in peace, Triple X, he just passed away. And then you have other, like Triple Red, all these other artists, like their music is so dark and depressing. It's like all these kids are going to know is dark, depressing music. And it's not to disrespect the artists themselves. Like if that's your life, then so be it. But it's like, we need to understand that our consumers, what's going to happen to them as they consume what we're feeding them. So I think that's what I want. I'm still developing it. It just it came out of nowhere. Like I work with a few rappers who are out of overweight and I was like, cool, new age athletics, make hip hop healthy. I ran, this, it's a slogan that I'm trying to still develop because it, a lot of people took offense. Not, not a lot, but a few people took it offensively. Mm -hmm on social media and it, but the thing about it it created dialogue which i think is important because now it affected you now why did it affect you now let's be, let's go figure out what we could figure out to make each other happier yeah. to bend all of us to benefit so that's where i'm at with it like if you guys want to chime in on it or what is it that make what do you think that what do you think when you hear that like i rather yeah i rather ask that because i'm still trying to learn <laughs> so what do you think when you hear make hip hop healthy okay so by making hip hop healthy uh, it's just it's it's like life. Mm -hmm. There there there's a yin and then there's a yang. Yeah. Um is it's definitely gonna depend on the the individual. Mm -hmm. You have to be like you said, uh, like you gotta touch you gotta touch on like a spiritual and a, a mental aspect of your body because like health is more than just the physical aspect. Mm -hmm. Like spiritual. it's it's, yeah. it's spirit yeah. mind and spirit and spirit mental. mind and it's spirit mind and body. Yeah. So um as a consumer, mm. I think if you have a, a healthy balance of what you listen to, then 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 it's okay. Like, I mean, there's going to be times like it's good that they have like so many artists. Like, I think our problem with um, just hip hop as far as like us, you know, being, you know, outsiders looking in is we we see the, the, the negative aspects of everything. Mm -hmm. But this is like. This this goes back on to the media, like it's their creative control. They're pushing then, this yep. negative agenda. Yeah, but then yeah, you got, true. I mean, then you got guys like us uh, uh, and people like Noah James. Like shout out to Noah, uh, who makes music about love and uh, mm. just he brings that positive, like f you know, reinforcement. So when somebody listen to him, you know, uh, it's going to sound like 
it's so it's different. Gonna, it's going to sound different. Like, and it's dope because Noah came from like a dark, a, a dark, dark spot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dark spot. Yeah, but I mean, that's it. Doesn't everybody love like a good comeback story? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Great. so so that's that's the beautiful thing about it. Like, I know just people in general. We always go through like a dark trend, mm-hmm. you know, dark transition in life, and then you know, eventually we find a light. Some mm-hmm. of us do. I mean, yeah. some of us, mm-hmm. you know, unfortunately, we don't. You know, we get to those crossroads and we feel like it's just there's there's nothing that we can do. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if the media would, you know, push like the issue as far as having like a balance of like good and positive, which I I think like we get from you know the conglomerates of uh of hip hop. Like I feel like even Drake, like when he came out with God's Plan, um, Kendrick yeah. would like. You know, um, him coming out like super hood and then, you know, out of that consciousness and that that politics, a part of hip hop, uh, J. Cole just enlightening people about like, you know, the things that are going on, like in hip hop with like certain, you know, individuals, mm. these, these children. So I feel like mm-hmm. that's where like our light comes from. Like, yeah, yeah, you true. know, our three main like, you know, top artists of this generation, they they create like a, a positive in- impact. And then you got a whole bunch of, you know other individuals you know they're just finding their lane like I, I i feel like a lot of these rappers like they have uh what it takes like to to make a change but i mean at the end of the day they want to be marketable they want to make money they want to make that money man so, that's yeah. what's kind of messing know, it up and saturating it yeah mm. but that's why i feel like the balance is lost you know what i'm saying like there's so much money chasing going on that they don't care about the destruction they're causing behind it. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, we have a few good artists, but compared to all the negative artists we have, it's like, it's so much more of that negativity going on. You know what I mean? Like we need, we need consistent positivity to, to balance out that negativity that's drowning the culture right now. Yeah, I agree. And it's what, and Something that I always was aware, especially like during my preteens and just uh, when I was a kid, like a lot of that consciousness when hip hop first started, like there was just a lot of consciousness, you know, pro back, um, just a lot of self love and just self education. And then, I mean, not to disrespect, you know, Dr. J's chronic, I mean, the album is still a classic to me, and, and as far as I grew up. But yeah, just going back into what you guys mentioned as far as like the media, like I definitely saw an agenda. Like once the people in power saw there was a formula, like, you know, because you also got to remember like the government from a time was trying to ban hip hop because they knew what it was doing to the people. So once they started to see a formula, like, wait, we can promote sex, drugs, money, and violence to our advantage, they saw the flip side to it and start pushing, you know, that aspect more. And I feel like a lot of people are being consumed and for, you know, some people that are not aware of being brainwashed mm-hmm. to seeing like, and some people are misinterpreting the word, you no know, hip hop. And my, oh, my argument has always been, like, no, that's not what hip hop is. That's not what it originally was. Like, you're just yeah. seeing what a distorted aspect of it. So, I, I don't feel like it's a distortion. I, I honestly feel like it's just, it's different. It's different from, from what we, you know, what we're used to or what mm-hmm. we came up on. I definitely appreciate our foundation, me being an artist myself. And, uh, I definitely, my music reflects like the era of music that like I grew up listening to. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's just it's just taking a different form. I feel like uh, eventually, like we'll get you know we'll get that that time that time will come to where it's like all right, there's going to be a plethora of like positive artists, and then like there's going to have to be that balance again. So I think it's just it's all about timing, and right now mm-hmm. like it's going to be like. Negative times, mm-hmm. you know, because that's what people, you know, I mean, suicide is like at all, all time, like high right yeah. now, you know, so this is what these, you know, these artists are reflecting and this is like their message, you know, is it's like a catch 22, like 
Mm. They're um, they're kind of enlightening you on the situation and the things that they go through. I mean, I feel like some of them touch on like the things that they do to overcome. But like, I do feel like at the same time, like, I mean, they're humans. So but a lot of them mm-hmm. haven't overcome it. Like a lot of them are still stuck in it, which why a lot of them are still on drugs, still doing the same exact things. And they're not talking about like really overcoming it. Or like, finding a solution. Yeah. Yeah. Like their solution is, oh, do this drug or be this way. You know what I mean? And it's, it's causing more of a, a downward spiral for those who are really living in a depressed life. You know what I mean? And. Because well, uh, someone brought something up to me before about that, you know, how everybody's talking about popping Xans and stuff. Like the era we grew up in was the, uh, the drug dealer era. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Selling everything. Now everybody's but doing the next it. Generation it's the, the addicts. The drug users. The, yeah. the addicts. addicts. The users. So they, that's, true. that's how it works. It's, 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 it's boom, 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 boom. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, it started with this. That was a hustle. See, yeah. that was that, that was a thing. It was it was a as a form and way to make money. Now, I don't me personally, I don't feel like it was the right thing to do because yeah. you out here, Agreed. you know, killing other individuals. Would you say that we we produce this generation since we were the generation? That <sighs> the and I yes, and yes and no. Yeah. Yeah, um, no. I feel like this generation abused that. You know what I mean? Like. Um, Used it as a clutch too. Yeah, like yeah. No I heard stuff all day. You know what I mean? But I wasn't out here trying to be the one using those drugs. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you, what did? Yeah, you, you wasn't a consumer. Yeah, you just there's said there's there's right? no accountability. Yeah. Like even in our generation, uh, I think it comes down to like. The love of money, you know, yeah. people yeah. Yeah. just That's really facts. like they being just, glamorized they, too much. They love That's money fact, more than bro. they love, you know. Then they value life, and that's you know that's that's always going to be an issue, you know. And that just comes down to a, to individual, like as far yeah. as like your character is concerned, and not being mm-hmm. having self love, like yes, love yourself, bring your own energy up, right? 